Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. I practice in Florida and New York virtually and physically I'm in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And then we see patients physically in Port St. Lucie, Florida since I cannot be in multiple places. So, at any rate, today we are going to talk about rebelsis. Rebelsis is on the TV. You guys are hearing about it. You're seeing about it. And in my clinic, patients are always asking, hey doc, you know, what about rebelsis? Although they may be on a similar medication, but they don't know what it is, so they ask questions, and I, I understand that. And the commercials can be very confusing, you know, like you look at it, at the end they talk about all this horrible side effects, and you're like, oh my god, you know, I'd rather not do that, but then you feel like desperate because you feel like you need a medication, then what do you do? What do, you do? Ask your doctor! Good one! All right, so you need to ask your doctor. Now, if your doctor does not have enough knowledge, then you go to a specialist. That will be people like me. It doesn't have to be me, but an endocrinologist in your area. If you want to do virtual visits, we do that as well for Florida and New York residents only. Now, I'm not here to promote Rebelsis. Again, uh, they are not paying or sponsoring this video by no means. But my whole purpose is for you to make an independent decision because unfortunately, sometimes your doctor does not give you enough information, you're shy to ask, etc, etc. I hope this video will serve that purpose so you can understand about this new medication. Now, Rebelsis is actually pretty much the same molecule of Ozempic. So you probably see those commercials about Ozempic as well. So what's the difference? Well, Ozempic is the injectable form. It's injectable once a week. Rebelsis is a pill, on the other hand. So, Rebelsis is a pill, Ozempic is an injection. Ozempic is once a week, Rebelsis is once a day. We're going to talk about the mechanism of action of this medication, but before that, I want you to understand the exact differences between the two injectable versus the oral. With the Rebelsis, you have to take it early in the morning, you have to have an empty stomach, and you have to wait at least 30 minutes after taking it with a couple of sips of water. Uh, with the Ozempic, there is none of that. You just do once a week a small tiny injection. A lot of people actually in my clinic prefer Ozempic over Rebelsis just because of the convenience factor. That's once a week injection. If they're already in on some sort of injection, they don't mind. They, they know injection is not a big deal. Very super tiny needle. Now, uh, Rebelsis is a pill for people who are scared of injections. Now, how do they work? Basically, these are. 95% similar to a gastrointestinal hormone made by your body. We call them incretin or GLP-1. So the job of that hormone, GLP-1, okay, or incretins. So these are hormones that are secreted by your gut when you eat food to tell your pancreas, bam, pancreas right here, hey buddy, Make some insulin. We need insulin because this guy had some carbs. And we gotta take this carbohydrates and sugar to the muscles so he can go work out. Not that he can go sit down, okay? So that is the purpose of these hormones to let your pancreas that there's food in your system. Now what happens when you have diabetes? It's not just your pancreas is dead. It's not necessarily dead. These hormones are not doing their job so when you eat, your body has no idea that there's food in your system. So as a result, you know, you're eating and then you think that, oh, my pancreas doesn't do anything, you know, I think I need insulin. No, you don't need insulin. You need to fix these hormones first, okay? So you need to fix these hormones so your pancreas is informed that there's food in your system. Now, what's interesting when they do studies, you know, these medications, the GLP-1 and incretins, incretin mimetics, we call them, because they're mimickers. Mimetics is like a mimicker. So your body doesn't know the difference. So when you give the medication, you know, uh, when there's food, it alerts the pancreas. So what happens is, you know, when you take these medications, your insulin boosts up so much. So much in a good way because your body makes insulin only when you need. Unless you are on other agents such as glipizide, glyburide, or glimepiride, or any type of insulin, you do not have a high risk of low blood sugars from this because you know your pancreas stops working when your blood sugars are below 90 milligram per deciliter. So 
with that, you know, it's, it's very safe. It's very safe. But, of course, there are side effects, which we'll talk about. When I say very safe, not necessarily, it's not side effect free. But they are in a good way because, like, they don't cause weight gain. They actually help with the weight loss because they make you feel full, which is one of the side effects of this medication. Uh, you feel full, so you cannot necessarily finish your plate or your sandwich or whatever you're eating. Uh, so you're going to be able to have much less food. And you're going to be able to fast for a long time. Let's say you're on uh, metformin or this medication okay then you can really go for a long fast without having to worry about having a low blood sugar now it can still happen occasionally in a rare patient but typically in most patients low blood sugar does not happen when you are on agents like this unless you're on another agent that does that such as we talked about something already our insulin then you know instead of stopping this medication what we end up doing is we end up cutting back on those sulfonylureas and insulin and that way you know we are able to reduce those medications that causes weight gain and low blood sugar or eliminate them actually it's not uncommon you know we do this all the time my goal in my clinic is to get people off the insulin to get people off the sulfonylurea agents such as glipizide, glyburide, glimepiride because they cause weight gain, they cause low blood sugar, they're not fun. Again, we do dietary approach, but we use the right medications to get the job done. We also have our own supplement now, which is great. The reason we came up with this supplement is a lot of people cannot afford these medications. You know, that Revalsis is like 600 bucks or something, and the Ozempic is like 800 or $900. Sometimes people literally come and yell at me. They're like, Doc, what are you doing? Are you trying to, you know, empty my bank account? I'm like, look, you know, I, I'm not <laughs> I'm not in charge of these drugs. You know, they do their own thing. It's all about regulations. They have to spend uh, billions of dollars to uh, satisfy requirements legally, you know, the FDA requirements, da 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 It's a lot of work for on their side, and they have to make their money. So, but I'm here. I'm the doctor. I, I'm just trying to choose the best one for you. But on the other hand we tend to forget the power of the nature i used to be one of those guys who will say oh supplements don't work don't try whatever only stick with these but then i started opening my mind to my patients listening to my patients and realize that some of these supplements work not all of them but some of them work and it is hard for you two guys to cherry pick so i said you know why don't i do that i can choose cherry pick those medications or the supplements for these people who cannot afford these expensive medications or their insurance doesn't cover it or they don't want to get into this because you know there's labels about them like cancer label da 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 you know and we'll talk about it in a second but the people get scared and from these medications so sometimes they just want to go natural and for those people we created this sugar md advanced glucose support after years of listening to my patients i came up with a formula that will bring your blood sugar down so back to the rebelsis though uh, I mean, they're good drugs, as I said. You will also, when you look at the commercials, you will hear things like, oh, well, it can, if you have cancer in your family, don't take this drug. Don't take Rebelsis if you or your family ever have medullary thyroid cancer. You know, uh, listen to that carefully, though. You know, uh, they're talking about a very specific cancer, which is medullary thyroid cancer. It's not a thyroid cancer. It's a medullary thyroid cancer, which is super rare form of thyroid cancer. And, you know, I'm a thyroid specialist, too, and I see those cancers, like, once in a blue moon. It's not, they're not, like, common, even with these medications being widely used. And uh, also, they talk about pancreatic cancer if you have a first-degree family member with it. Now, on the other hand, though, the studies do not show, the human studies do not show increased risk of cancer. If that was the case... FDA would never allow this to be on the market. In animal studies, in rat studies though, some rats develop these cancers and uh, the mechanism is not well explained, but what we are trying to do here, I think it's mostly dose related and some of these rats are prone to it. So, uh, you know, the, the rats versus humans are not a direct match. So as a result, uh, definitely, if you have a family history of medullary thyroid cancer or pancreatic cancer, avoid them. If you don't, I don't think there's too much to worry about. So I've been using these drugs for 10 years now since they came to the market and they have been safe and effective. As I said, expensive, yes. Side effects, they can cause increased satiety, they can cause nausea, some people vomit from it. So if you're vomiting, don't stay on this medication. If you're nauseous, it tends to go away if you can put up with it. 
Uh, some people use anti nausea medications for, uh, for a while, but generally the side effects last a few weeks. Diarrhea can happen. Diarrhea sometimes sticks around for a long time. It's not a fun side effect as well. So yeah, especially if you're a metformin already suffering from diarrhea, approach with caution to these drugs. As I said, they are effective when they work. People love it. When, when it causes side effects, people hate it. So I guess, it, you know, you can definitely try. They are definitely better than a lot of other medications, better than insulin, better than sulfonylureas. That is what I'm going to say today. So guys, if you like the video, make sure you write a comment, ask questions, and we will try to answer all your questions and make sure you share this video. I'll see you later.